Hey, what's up, guys? James Paul here. Welcome to another episode of James Live, guys. Today I'll be doing Pings Part Five now, so if you guys enjoy this video and hit the like and subscribe and comment and favorite down below and see what painting you want or like. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, I'll try to do like all of my pings all in one part, but actually I'm gonna do like two parts or three parts like one part be the thin paintings and the couple of the ones right there then part two will be like well not part two but like like part five or six maybe part six is probably would be like down like where um i wanted to like like right here from from start from here right here guys and start from back from that one okay guys so yeah Let's get started. Let's get started. I can't wait to show you all my new ones that I just did. Oh, it's going to be so fun and cool. Let's get this video started. Here we go, folks, on James Live, guys. Here we go. Okay, today we have here everybody, my new and improved pumpkin painting, guys. This one's like one of my absolutely favorite ones to do, you can do at my um, studio. It's James's Art Academy. Um. Or go to my Instagram and click, type in James's Art Academy so you can see all of my paintings from from the latest months and days. So, yeah, this is my new pumpkin painting, and you should do that for Halloween, guys. I mean, this is really awesome, though. So, yeah, this is really cool. This here is my Angry Bird painting. His name is Bud. So, I actually did very good on it, and it's really, really awesome, too figure out what ones we you should do like in the real times and like good times and bad times but paintings is always a favorite of mine to do guys so you let your imagination run wild and that stuff and like so awesome how like the looks of them though is so real and so realistic <clears throat> so yeah, um, I mean, this is really awesome, though. This is so cool how you can do this bird painting. Um, I did a Chuck one, though, but I don't, I'm not gonna do that until closer to Thanksgiving, I bet. Yeah. Or maybe the next part, or two parts away, but yeah. This is my, this is my bird, bird painting, and so I think it takes a little longer. Sorry about that. This next one here is a Snow White painting I did. I did okay on it. Sometimes, well, a couple of times I got kind of, um, uh, a little tweak, tweaks here and there, but we actually finally did it, guys. So, as you see, her lips is kind of big, but I didn't expect it to be that big, but okay, well. I'll take it anyway, so this is like a Snow White painting I did. This is a fun painting you can do if you like Disney characters and that stuff. So I did I did show it to Olivia Hoisington one time. She really loved it too. She's like, Good job, James And I'm like, Good yo, thank you. Alright. So this is a Snow White painting, so I love it. This one here is a shark painting I did. Um, this is actually a really fun and easy painting to do. All you, you gotta do is put, like, this, like, the sun out in the, um, the, um, outside of the water. So, yeah, um, this is really fun. And, and the, and the colors in this one is really vibrant and really beautiful and that stuff. So, like, um, a shark painting is... It's like the first one I ever did, all but yeah, I, it actually turned out really good, actually. So yes, yeah, it's really awesome though. My shark painting, you can only find it on Instagram and jamesartacademy.com. All right. So I'm I'm work, you guys, in the world, out of the world, guys. Please try to help help make me a website, okay, guys. So. I appreciate it. Okay, guys? So this is the shark painting, and let's go on to the next one. Next, this one here is a mountain painting. Oh my gosh, I, I actually did so well on it. Um, 
And since I got had a little feedy look on it, so do you see why my hand is my hair like my hair has like a feedy look on it? So yeah. Um this is one of my absolutely my ultimate favorite painting I did. So man, we got a lot to do guys, so bear with me. So this is my favorite mountain painting I did. It's really, really, really beautiful. And if you ever been to Oklahoma in or Mid Tennessee or the Smokies, dude, you will see mountains like that. Oh, they're so beautiful. So, yeah, we're back for more, guys. This 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 little beauty here is a owl painting I did. I did all kinds of owl paintings throughout my career. Um, I did one that has like a um. A purple and like a blue owl on a tree, and that's when I did like orange and like a white, like a yellow, orange, and orange, and purple and pink with the tree. So that is really cool. I mean, whew, man, this is awesome, guys. So, yeah, I can't wait for that though, guys. I mean, this is so awesome, but yeah, we'll be back for more, guys. Check this one out, guys. We have a candy corn painting. Okay, you gotta get this one, Mike. Guy, man, this is one my. This is one of the easiest ones I did. If you like candy corn in person or candy like to to snack on or for trick or treating, this painting is yours, and you can do it all year round. You can actually keep one painting like that. You can just keep it like thousands of years around, so it will never get bored. So this is a beautiful candy corn. I like it. It's my favorite candy in the world. It's like a chocolate and like a candy corn flavoring flavor to it. But yeah, this is a candy corn painting. If you like this one, hit the like button or hit the heart button in my Instagram, James's Art Academy. Okay. I'll be back, folks. All right, guys, we're back for more, guys. This is a pretty camo painting and doing it in the sunset in the desert. And this is like one of the most exciting things I ever did in my life. So, this is one absolute beauty. This is a beauty. Those cameras look so real, though, but man, I like those cactuses in the background, too, and in the sun. Like a and like a sunset be like setting down on be underneath the floor and that. So and there's a the moon and the stars up there. So yeah. This is a, a one of my absolutely newest and latest greatest paintings in the world. So a camel painting is what you like and this video is for you to watch. Okay? All right, guys. We have a um a mountain, another mountain painting. This one is like a sunset mountain one. So I like my mountain ones, and uh, this is really awesome. I mean, this is really cool how mountain paintings come a long way and have a, a really good, good behind the scene of how Bob Ross did them. If you like Bob Ross, guys, check out his um, YouTube channel at. I think Bob Wa like Bob Ross a um a joy for painting or something like joy for paintings or something like that. I don't know how that goes, but okay. Check out his YouTube channel and check out his painting videos. All right. So this is a mountain painting I did with a sunset. Enjoy. <laughs> this one here is a cactus painting with the butter butterfly on on it. I did really good on it though, but man, this is one of my favorite paintings I did. Um, it's it take it takes no time at all to get done though. It takes probably like ten minutes to get done or less, depending how many detail or how much detail or color you want on it. So yeah, this is my favorite cactus painting, and this is really really awesome, guys. This is so so. Beautiful how I did all these paintings just in my hand and my mind. 
I mean, wow, how in the world can you even know what to do without no help and no tracing and that stuff, you know? Isn't that cool? <laughs> so, yeah. We'll be, back. we'll be back for the next one here in a little bit, guys, folks, all right? After this commercial break. And we're back, guys. So, if you really, you have a nice little break as a the commercial. Okay, guys. So this is one. This one is my balloon painting with a fence, with a little windmill. I know the windmill is not doing very good. I expected, but uh, yeah. There's birds in it, and there's the sun in it too. Like, um, and there's grass, and there's balloons, strings, anything you can imagine. Um, so yeah, the, the, the tip of getting a perfect grass theme on it, guys, is to have a, like a, maybe like a, a two inch brush or maybe one, one and a half or one inch brush to, um, like you, you, okay. So here's a brush here, guys. You see it right here? My hand. Okay. So pretending you make a grass theme layer ground okay all you gotta do this is all you gotta do just do this look at my hand then then the grass will come up like that and there it goes so yeah this is a beautiful punk balloon painting hey this this is james thanks for watching today's episode i hope you like it and um yeah i hope you like this video of paintings i showed you today and um this is really awesome how every painting in its own way has like a different technique of shape and color and uh, realistic work going on. So yeah, this is James Paul guys. See you next time for more James Live painting videos on my painting series. Okay, so this is James Paul. See you next time guys and see you next time for more for part six on my painting series. Alright? See you later guys. Bye. And happy Halloween, by the way.